Hello, Scorpio. It's my lady from A Lady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 14th through the 21st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Okay, those are definitely not supposed to look like that. All right. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, subscribing, and sending up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me so we can get something started. Okay. All right. What's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio. Scorpio. 8, 14 through 21. 8, 14 through 21, 2017. All right, so burdens are being lifted for you, Scorpio. Okay. So, this could indicate a work situation or this could indicate you trying to protect, you and somebody trying to protect somebody or somebody, two people trying to protect you, two people or more. All right, so I'm feeling like they might be trying to protect you from in and out situations. So, this could be a job or it could be a relationship. Maybe it's somebody at work trying to protect you from a relationship that you have at home. All right, so whatever this situation is, is emotionally draining to you. So it could be these people that's emotionally draining you, trying to um, keep you from doing what you want to do. But I'm feeling like it's the overall situation. Like everything is just draining. Okay, we got another flipper. I don't remember this happening. So it's basically telling you you need to stop. Mm. Okay, so this made me feel like you may be a love bug. And like every time you deal with somebody, you fall like um, head over heels in love. And I feel like somebody might be trying to protect you or people are trying to protect you from somebody. Like don't put yourself out there like that. Don't put all your emotions in this person because they might not be that great or in this job, you know. Okay, yeah, so it seemed like this person, somebody's in and out of your life and you really care about this person. Or maybe it's just a bunch of people in and out of your life. Like, oh, when is the next one coming? Are they going to love me? You know, you're just like, ooh, love hard. I don't know. This makes me feel like, all right, what is this siren card about? It's making me feel like somebody just loved too hard, too fast. And it is like emotionally draining the person and the other people involved. And it's like people are trying to tell you like, hey, calm down. You know, don't do that. You're going to run them away. So, I don't know. This makes me feel like somebody talk about babies like right off the back. Which is not a bad thing if you want to scare somebody off. But, um, it's like... I'm just feeling like somebody is, I don't know, I feel like somebody is cherishing relationships, but I feel like maybe you doing too much to keep these people, you know, like you doing too much, overdoing it, that's what I'm seeing here. You overdoing it, trying to compensate for what these people yeah, so I'm feeling like you just giving and giving and giving. You're giving love, you're giving money, you're giving hope, you're giving trust, you're giving everything, and you just get crushed every time. That's what I'm feeling like. Just because this this card makes me feel like you're always getting crushed. Crushed at the end because you give too much in the beginning, you know. If I do this, they'll love me. No, they won't. Okay. All right. All right, so there is some physical attraction going on with you and these people. They are attracted to you. You're attracted to them.
but it's just like too much is too much, you know? Too much of anything is too much. Like, I love cereal, but if I eat five bowls, I'm sick of it, you know? All right, so what's going on with the Scorpio? What's going on with the Scorpio for 8, 14 through 21st, 2017? Love Scorpio. Scorpio love reading 8, 21st. Okay, that one wants to come out. Yeah, somebody picking their stuff up and leaving. So this could be you or the other person. This could be either or. General reading. This, uh, but it's like... Maybe you're not getting what you want from this person. They're not opening your heart up, whatever. But somebody's picking up and leaving because of, because of what's going on. All right, love offers being granted. And somebody's saying, like, I uh, really don't like you that much or like that. All right. Okay, well, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I read them straight out the books and sure you get your full message. Wow, so I don't know, just looking at these, it's like, I feel like you always making wrong choices. People are choosing you for money. You're giving them all your money and next thing you know, you're like, ah, oh, where's all, where's it at? You know? All right, yeah, you building things on unstable foundations like you really barely know this person. You jump in and your heart is there. And it runs them off because I don't know why it runs people off when you open your heart. But it does. I just know that. All right. So first we got the Queen of Coins. Okay. The separated says a time of economic balance and enjoyment of luxury and comfort. A bright economic outlook. So basically you got money. You always had money. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with. So, you have the Seven of Cups. Alright, and that says, is that right? Be very careful of making mistakes. A good choice is hidden behind many other bad choices. Do not fool yourself with unreal dreams. Take the best choice and solid choice. So, it's basically like... I don't know, that's just you. You know what to do there. I feel like it might be more than one or two or three persons. And I feel like the one you like is the worst one. But you're going to get them even though they're going to be like begging. Well, not begging, but just asking for bleeding you dry. All right. You know they're out for money, but you still want them. All right. So we have the five of coins. It says money which is going out faster than it is coming in. You may need to borrow money, avoid unnecessary expenses. So it's like, yeah, messing with this person that you're dealing with, you're going to be end up needing money. I feel like somebody's going to take your card, spend everything, and you don't get paid till next week. And what can you do? You like this person, so you're going to stick around. Okay, so we got the four coins. No, four of staffs. All right, the four staffs is reversed. This says um, monetary and material wealth, joy, positive improvement. Uh, a card of peace of mind, positive energy, success, easily movement, anticipation, married and home life. So, geez, this is quite weird. But it seemed like somebody might be using you for money. But it's like you happy with them. So whatever floats your boat. If you you like it, then it's nothing else nobody else can do about it. That's all I got for you guys. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful week.